As a small town boy from the Midwest, this next video is very near and dear to my heart. I've got seven small town side hustles to help you guys earn some extra money. And these are side hustles that anybody can do. They are super beginner friendly. Now I got a mix of some get your hands dirty side hustles and a couple online side hustles that you can do from your laptop or even from your phone. So I'm sure there's gonna be something in here for everybody. Also, I just wanna give you guys a few pros and cons for each of these to help you make the best decision. Let's get into it. All right, number one is mobile car detailing. This is where you actually go on site and do the car detailing right there at the customer's house. Or even better, if you can get a contract with a local business where their employees park out in the parking lot, you might even be able to work out a deal where you could go on site and clean the employees' cars. Now, what's cool about this business is you can offer different tiers of services. Just like you go to a car wash, you have the basic, you have the pro, and you add in different features and things like that to then make more money. So the sky's the limit with this and there's really not much you need to get started. I went on Amazon and did a quick search and I found this auto detailing kit for right around a hundred bucks. Basically has everything you need to get started and it will last you quite a while. I don't know, but a hundred bucks to start a business isn't much. And I even found this really cool car detailing kit where you can take the different sponges and tools and hook them to a drill so you can clean out the vents and the seat. So this is a really cool option too. And you could even use this as an upgrade to your services. Now, some of the pros with doing mobile detailing is you can earn a lot of money depending on how detailed you get with the cleaning. You could charge a hundred, 200, 300, even $500 per car. And if you're doing vans or buses or RVs, you can charge charge a heck of a lot more. Now, really the downside is gonna be, depending on where you live, this could be weather permitting. If you live in the Midwest like me, you probably can't do this through the winter. But if you live down south or on the West Coast where it's sunny all the time, this is a great opportunity to do all year round. Number two is junk removal. You see these junk trucks all over the place, right? Two hunks with junk or whatever it's called. It's not rocket science. They're taking crap that you don't want. They're taking it to the dump and they're getting rid of it. If you have a truck or a van, you could offer the same services in your area. Now you might need to do a little bit of research to get an idea of what people are charging so that you're not charging too much. And obviously you don't want to charge too little. Now the big pro with this is it's super easy to get started. All you need is a van or a truck. Now you probably need two people to do this, but you can get started right away. Start throwing up some flyers. You could even put something in a local Facebook group. Hey guys, I started a little side business. Do you have any junk or couches or things you want to have removed? Those could be your first customers and help you kind of go on a test run with this business. Now, probably the biggest con with this is it is physical labor. Also, you may have to pay fees for dumping it at the junkyard or the local dump. You want to make sure you are doing this the right way and the legal way. So just double check licensing and what you need to do this business. Also, if you have an employee, you want to make sure you have insurance because there's going to be a lot of lifting involved. Number three is power washing. I used to do this and I absolutely loved it. I had so much fun doing this business and it was super easy to get started. I started with friends and family and I would do decks. I would clean sides of houses. And then I moved up to cleaning larger buildings like corporate buildings, even removing graffiti. So there's a lot that you can do with a power washing business. And you can get an electric power washer on Amazon for right around a hundred bucks, or you could rent a gas powered one from Home Depot. And you can charge a lot of money to do this. You could charge anywhere from 300 to $500 just to power wash a deck. And you could even add in deck staining services to make even more money. So pros and cons. The biggest pro is you can get started right away. You can go to Home Depot and rent a power washer. You could pick up one cheap on Amazon and you could get started doing this business. Start with friends and family, power wash their deck, take pictures, take video, throw it up on Instagram, throw it up on Facebook, get the word out. Trust me, when people see the before and the after of a deck, word's gonna get around really quick. 
Some of the biggest cons with this are you got equipment that you got to lug around. So you want to make sure you have room in your vehicle to actually take the power washer from location to location. And it can be weather dependent. So again, depending on where you live, this might be something that you do on a more seasonal basis. Number four, this is one that is absolutely exploding right now online, and that is selling digital products. Anybody can get started in this business. It's absolutely crazy. What's really cool about selling digital products, number one is it's easy to create a digital product. You can use free tools like Canva and create a digital product today. And the cool thing is you only have to create the product once and you can sell it over and over and over again. So if you have a skill set or something that you want to teach to people or share with people, you could put together a how-to list or even a mini training where you you just record the video on your phone, upload it, and you could sell the download. There's lots of options, but where people are really, really making good money with this business are by buying what are called done for you digital products. And these are products that come with what's called master resale rights, which means the product owner gives you the right to resell the product and keep 100% of the profit. It's crazy. Now you can rebrand the product or you can resell it as is. It's a great way for beginners to get started who have no clue what to sell. Now, I highly recommend that if you are gonna go the digital product route is that you educate yourself, you learn how to do this business the right way. Now, if you wanna learn more about selling digital products, then check out the link below and I'll send you some more information. Number five, window cleaning. Now, this is a business that I've done myself and I actually loved doing this business. It's a lot of fun. It's very easy to get started. You can go to Home Depot, get a squeegee, get some rags, and get literally a orange Home Depot bucket and you could get started with this business. What I recommend is you go around to a local businesses in your area and you simply knock on the window, knock on the door. Hey, do you need your windows clean, right? You could even start by offering the first one for free. And if they like it, you come back, you do it again. What I recommend you do is, is you set up some sort of schedule where you come every week or every other week and then you can charge them by the month. So if you're charging a hundred bucks a month, right, you get 10 clients, that's a thousand bucks a month. You get the idea. So you can grow this business very quickly and it's not rocket science to clean windows. Also, as you grow, you can start to do residential properties. This is where you could charge 300, 400, 500, even a thousand dollars for some of these larger homes with lots of windows. Now, the biggest pro with window cleaning is that it's super easy to get started. You could watch some videos on YouTube on how to clean windows. And for around 50 bucks, you can get all the tools and things you need. The biggest con is when you're doing residential, you are climbing up on ladders. So it can be very dangerous. It can be very tiring and a little bit sore on the back. Also, make sure you look into licensing in your area and that you have all the correct insurance and all that stuff. I am not giving any legal or business advice. I'm just telling you, make sure you check out everything you need in your local area so you're doing this the right way and the safe way. Number six, I love this one, offering senior transportation services. There are tons of seniors that are still living on their own and they have family, but they're not close by so they can't come over every day or every week to take them to their appointments. This is where you come in. You could offer transportation services to doctor's appointments, physical therapy, to the pharmacy, or to the grocery store, or maybe you even offer an all-day trip where you take them to the mall or to the movie theater or to the park. There's so many different ways you can do this business. Now, the pro is all you need is a safe vehicle, a clean driving record. The con is you got to make sure you have the appropriate license to do this. You just can't go pick up seniors, <laughs> drop them off places, come back. So look into that, how you can get started. But I believe it's untapped, especially in a lot of these smaller areas. You get enough clients, this could be a great little side hustle. And last on our list is renting out your property to park cars, boats, vans, RVs, whatever it is. And you can even use your extra space to rent out parking spots for sporting events and concert tickets. So if you live in an area where you're close to a, a sporting venue, you can make a lot of money with this and you can do everything right through this neighbor app. You can book the spots, take the payments, everything you need is done right there. And 
you can get started right now. You can simply grab your phone, go to the app, sign up for free and list your space. Now, biggest pro is it's super easy to do this. You could charge 100, 300 bucks a month, depending on the size of the vehicle. But the biggest con with this business is it might be a little bit of an eyesore for you and your neighbors, depending on what's parked in your driveway or in your yard or wherever you put it. So keep that in mind when getting into this business. Again, if you guys wanna learn more about getting started with digital products, Make sure you check out that link below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.